Hey, Mr. Park here to do update. Let's start with the VHS. Bought these, uh, Cast the Deadly Spell, which is a really fun movie. Basically, it's like a it takes place back in the time in the 40s if magic was being used, if magic was like everyday thing. It uh, has uh, Fred Warden, it, David Warner, Clancy Brown, great cast, Julianne Moore, great movie, really awesome, really different, really entertaining. This uh, freak show, I've never seen this. The DVD's out of print. Uh, the VHS, I got it really cheap. Uh, this looks fun. has Gunnar Hansen in it. has this creepy fat freak on the back. Like, <laughs> that's exactly what he's doing. He told me so. Then we got, I bought a whole bunch of uh, VHSs from someone. We got Tainted Blood. Don't know much about it. It was really cheap. Grabbed it. Uh, eh, Tainted Blood. <sighs> a Buration or a... Uh, <laughs> a Buration. Yeah, it's a, one of those double-sided ones. Don't know how it is. Pamela Gidley's in it. In cheap spellcaster which is a really fun uh empire pictures one in a castle basically all these weird things adam ants in it yeah but a uh, fun movie i like it it's empire pictures look at a monster on the side then we have deranged which actually unfortunately is broken and i uh it came taped and this thing was off i i tried to tape it together the guy refunded it but i don't know if it will work but this is deranged then we got monolith or monolith uh, which I caught my interest. I read it in the book. It has Bill Pax, Lou Gusset Jr. in it. Yeah. Big fan of Bill Pax. And I remember that VHS cover. Asylum, which is uh, Amicus uh, Horror Anthology, which has been released on DVD. Not really uh, worth much, but yeah, I like the cover. Pretty cool movie, actually. Playroom, which I already have a VHS of, which is a Manny Coco movie, or Kotu, who did uh, Dr. Giggles. This movie's really goofy, really silly, really retarded, really funny. Has a uh, Shooter McGavin in it. This one, uh, Headhunter, which uh, basically is about a guy, a monster who chops off heads. It's been a long time since I've seen this movie. It's from Academy. I actually do enjoy this movie. I remember liking it. I think it was like a 3 out of 5 is why I would have gave it. Yeah, it's Headhunter. And we have uh, Haunts, which uh, got pretty good price as well. Uh, I've never seen this movie. Yeah, Haunts. Really cool cover art. Had Decapitation. You can't beat that. Then we have uh, Allison's Birthday from Vid America. Grim Prairie Tales, which is my second copy, but I couldn't pass it up because it was a good price, and this movie sometimes goes for a decent penny, pretty penny. It's a horror anthology. Then we have The Dungeon Master, also my second copy, but yeah, I grabbed it. This one's an Avid. Yeah, I couldn't pass it up. That's what happened to my other copy. Now I have two Dungeon cop, A broken Dungeon Master I just threw away and two good ones. Uh, Dogs of Hell. Yeah. From media. Look at the guy in the back. He's curdling like a little baby. But anyways, those are my VHSs, and I'm gonna stop this for a second and grab the Blu-rays. Now we're at the Blu-rays. I uh, I imported some because I got a region-free player, and now I can watch uh, random uh, UK Blu-rays. But uh, we got the Adventures of Baron Muchausen, which I've not seen, which is a Terry Gillum movie. It's got my man Oliver Reed in it. And then we got uh, the Orphan Killer, which I did start watching some. I saw one gore scene that was pretty impressive. But I wasn't sure. I wasn't. I didn't know what to feel about it because I didn't get far enough into it. Then we have the Hellstrom Chronicle, which is like part 19. It's a 1972 bug insect documentary, but part horror movie as well. It sounded too bizarre. Gonna be awesome. Then we have Kill List, which I imported. This is the DVD and the Blu-ray. This is supposed to be a really great bl uh, British uh, thriller, like horror thing, like really gritty and stuff. Uh, not gritty, but really. Uh, a thriller that crosses into the horror movie boundaries about a hitman. Kill list. Heard great things. F, which is like a slasher set in a school. Haven't watched it yet. Now, a Lonely Place to Die, which is coming out in the United States American DVD and Blu-ray soon. But, uh, yeah, I got imported the disc. And then We Are What We Are, which is released on DVD in America, but I imported the Blu-ray uh, from IFC. This movie's actually pretty decent, pretty cool. Uh... I wouldn't call it a cannibal gore press or a shocking gore. There's some gore at the end, but that's pretty much about it. Decent movie, pretty cool stuff. Not any, uh, I'd probably like 3.25 or something like that out of 5. I'd recommend it, give it a watch at least. But uh, it's also cool because it doesn't take your tradition. It's like a cannibal family and a ritual and stuff like that. Really cool. But uh, I'm going to grab the DVDs. Here's uh, the first stack. We have uh, Poison, which is like three movies that simultaneously run next to each other. Uh and they're all different. They all have like similarities to them. A uh, really cool movie. Uh, one's a prison thing about love and prison. Yeah. And one is a uh, not love, but obsession and weirdness in prison. And uh, one's about a horror story. A guy catches this uh, plague and he starts spreading it around. Not a plague, but he gets lesions from this experiment. And one's about a kid uh, who killed his father. Yeah, this is a really cool movie. Poison, I'd recommend it. 
Then we have uh, Battle Truck and uh, Death Sport, which I have not watched. Shout Factory, that was a must, right? Then I uh, double bought. I had this old edition, but uh, this one looks so much better of uh, Whore Hospital. Then we have, uh, this is really cheap, but if you do Source Slave, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Chain Letter Unrated. I actually heard good things about this movie, but uh, so I grabbed it for cheap. Uh, Blood Lust Zombies. I actually did a review for this. I had a screener, but this is a real copy for three bucks. I couldn't pass it up. Then we have, uh, it's a decent movie. It's not too amazing. Some boobs, some blood. Uh, we have George, a zombie intervention, which I picked up. But yeah, this one looked cool. Sucker for zombie movies still to this day. Oh, I almost lost it all right there. Then we have The Dawning, which is another versus Circle Films. I have not watched it. Again, it was only a few bucks. Then we have uh, Gnaw, Food of the Gods Part 2, which I haven't seen since I was a kid. But you guys know what Food of the Gods, uh, rats get huge. This one, rats get big again. Yeah, again, very cheap. Again, I wanted to see it again. Yeah. Uh, Terror Beneath the Sea, which is Dark Sky. got it really cheap. Sunny Cheap is in it. Looks like a sci-fi stuff. I don't know really what's going on. Then we have uh, Farm, which uh, the case, the cover caught my attention. I thought it looked like pretty cool. Again, didn't pay much for it. Uh, Dream Home, which I heard only good things about. Uh, I guess it's gory. Uh, girls killing people that live in a house. IFC. Heard it's great. Had to get it. That's Dream Home. Then we have the ABCs of Love and Sex, which is uh, kind of like this Australian type deal. I have not watched it. It's Intervision, which I've been getting all these Intervision releases. Then we, they also released Australia After Dark, which I have not watched. Yep. But Intervision's the best. Then we have a Tough, which is a short film uh, by the Von Collage Brothers. Great movie. Really uh, crazy stuff. Really silly. Not silly. Disgusting, I should say. But there is a couple silly parts. But mostly just disgusting, crazy, depraved stuff. Tough. 20 minutes short. Yeah. They also sent a little poster I ordered and these things right here, this uh, book cover, which is really awesome, and uh, this ungodly awesome mask. But that is uh, tough. I would recommend it. I also did a review for it. And now we have uh, Black Rat, which is very cheap from uh, Tokyo Shock. I like the cover of that. Uh, the Last Breath, another uh, Media Blasters. And, of course, Psychocadia, or... Yeah, I don't know. I'm saying it like that. You guys can tell me I'm a moron. I don't care. Yeah. Then we have Cyrus, Mind of a Serial Killer. Bought this used cheap. Anchor Bay. Phase 7. Not watched it. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. Gruzuka. I did. From Synapse. Yeah. Looks cool. Uh, Hombrock. Berlin Undead. From Bloody Disgusting as well. Then my boy DVD Fiend sent me something for Christmas. Really cool right here. He also sent me a little Simpsons figurine, but uh, don't let him in. Have not seen this one. Don't know much about it. Then we have Sleep Stalker. Have not watched. Again, paid like $2 for it. And uh, Frankenstein vs. The Creature from Blood Cove. Really hate uh, this was used, but I really hate the case they sent it in and how beat up it is, but there we go. And then we have Immortality with, uh, yeah, Jude Law plays a serial killer. That seemed interesting enough. As much as you guys want to hate on Jude Law or people hate on Jude Law, he's a pretty decent actor. Him as a serial killer is interesting. Obsent uh, offensive behavior. Yeah, a trauma, of course. This looks crazy. And we have The Devil's Playground, which looked really good. Sounded, uh, it's for Australia's most honored film, they say. Uh, looked really good to me. And uh, Female Yakuza Tale. I don't think I had this one, so I grabbed it. Yep, from Synapse. So it's actually not Synapse, it's what, Impulse or Panic House. I'll be right back and grab another stack. And I'm running out of room, so here we go. Night Drive, have not watched. I think it's South African, looks cool. Take Me Home, which is a rental. I heard good things about this, but I didn't pay too much. I'm unfortunate it's just a rental release. I might, if I like it, I'll probably pre import the Blu-ray or something. The Seventh Hunt. Again, most of these I just bought today. This lot right here. Second copy of Giallo. Probably be sending this off as a gift somewhere. Three bucks. Bikini Girls on Ice. Yeah. Uh, the City of Life and Death. This is a two disc. I didn't pay too much for it. I got this because it's the same store, The Naking Massacre. Yeah, which is uh, uh, another movie. Men Behind the Sun 4 is also based on that. Silent Night, Zombie Night. Arr. 
Tear Trap. I don't know. Lucky, even a serial killer can win the lottery. That just sounds ridiculous. Colin Hanks is in it. Uh, Jeffrey Tabor's in it. I like Tabor. Uh, bite Marks. Vicious Circle, I believe, or Breaking Glass. Vampire Fleck. And then we have Strangers Online. Again, a Breaking Glass. Then we have uh, Strugalik, the Undead. Strigagoi. I don't know. Yeah. Vicious Circle. I Crime, Vicious Circle. A lot of these were used in Dirt Cheap. A second copy of this. I know who this is going to for a gift. Drive-In Horse Show. 30 Days a Night, Dark Days. Have not seen this. I thought the first one was pretty decent. Uh, Burke and Hare. This looked great. Big fan of Simon Pegg. Like John Landy's. Like Andy Circus. Can't be bad. I'm about to lose a whole bunch of DVDs. Nope, I saved them. Then we have Silent House. I don't like the cut in there, but it was really cheap. It was like 2 $3. Uh, this movie is a horror movie shot in one continuous cut, from my understanding, one shot. Sounds really cool. The Countess, which I have not seen as well. Whitey Wanting Virgin Blood, back in the day. The Uninvited. Uh, don't Turn Around, which is another IFC. Have not seen it. And, of course, we had to get St. Nick. Uh, Killer Santa Claus. I don't know what the hell is going on. IFC. Kind of looks silly. And Shoes, which looks like the Saw thing, but I don't know. I got it from IFC. That's my update. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.